Not that impressive, is it? <laughs> the hardest working man in comedy. That's like being the best looking guy in the Burns unit. <laughs> no offence to any Burns victims we got in. Are there any in? If there's one, there'll be fucking loads. They tend to stick together. <laughs> Has anyone in here been flashed? Yeah. Go on, what, what happened, madam? Is it a funny story or is it distressing? I was in a club and some guy flashed me. In a club? Yeah. In a club and someone flashed you in the club? Yeah. Are you sure you didn't go off with a man in a club? <laughs> I was kissing him and I, uh, under his zip and then he flashed me. <laughs> Go on, what, what happened? Tell me, tell me the story. It was in the middle of the dance floor. Middle of the dance floor and he was throwing some shapes <laughs> and one of his was... So to get rid of the guy, your friend told him you were lesbians. That's how these two started, but then... <laughs> they liked it, so they stuck with it. <laughs> and did, did that work? Well, she said, we don't like cock. And then she she said, we don't like cock. <laughs> so sorry, so someone, flat, someone got his cock out in the middle of the dance floor in a club, and you went, oh no, sorry, we're lesbians. <laughs> you could have just told him to fuck off, you're incredibly polite. <laughs> I'll make up an excuse so he doesn't feel bad. I, <laughs> I don't want the flasher to feel rejected. <laughs> How nice are you? And has anyone else been flashed? You got arrested for flashing. <laughs> well, don't take it out on me. <laughs> what do you mean you got arrested for flashing? Well, I was, I was going for a piss. You're going for a piss? <laughs> This sounds like bullshit to me. <laughs> you were going for a piss. Where were you going for a piss? Get, set the scene for us. I've never met anyone that's flashed. Go on. Sorry. It's going for a piss in a primary school. In a car park. <laughs> in a car park, OK. Outside. In a car park outside, you're going for a piss. Late. Caught short. Late, late at night. night. Fine, OK. Yeah. And uh, I needed a piss, so I went up against a tree. You went up against a tree? Yeah. Turned out it wasn't a tree, it was a fat girl? <laughs> Go on, so you walked up to a tree to take a pee in a car park. This doesn't sound terrible. So far, I'm on this guy's side. Go on. So there was a woman in the trees. Um... There was a woman in the trees. <laughs> Sounds like you've broken dogging etiquette by pissing on someone. <laughs> so you went up to take a piss on a tree, and there was a woman in the tree. She was walking. There's a pathway. She was walking, OK. And it was outside a police station. And it was outside a police station. <laughs> What kind of a fucking idiot are you? <laughs> you? You went for a piss in the police station car park. <laughs> Why don't you just turn yourself in? <laughs> That's a cry for help if ever I heard one. <laughs> Lock me up before I hurt someone. <laughs> and what, did she scream? Did she come out? What happened? Uh, she went into the police station and uh, they came out and arrested me for indecent exposure. They came out and arrested you for indecent... Is it because you're a bit ginger? <laughs> Do you think they would have let you off if you hadn't been quite as... I'm sorry about these lights as well. We could well be giving you skin cancer. <laughs> I don't... I think I'm on your side there. If you're taking a piss, that's not indecent exposure, is it? What do you think? Are we on this guy's side? Yeah. There's one man, no. <laughs> Stop pissing outside, you crazy fool. I saw a thing on the news that said that bad drivers are going to get on the spot £100 fines. I thought, it's a bit sexist. <laughs> Do you understand that? <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> I'm not being sexist. How could it be? Some of my best friends are slags. The average person in Great Britain laughs out loud ten times a day. Not everyone, obviously. If you work in a hospice or with learning disabled adults, it could be ten times that. <laughs> Sky's the limit. <laughs> I've got a question for you, ladies and gentlemen. Does anyone in this room believe in the supernatural? Ghosts and spirits and the like? Yeah. Quite a lot of you. It's actually easy to tell if your house is haunted. It isn't. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> that's me being cynical, but that's his job. Being a stand-up comedian, I think, makes you a bit of a cynic. Has anyone in here actually seen a ghost? <laughs> well, go on, what did you see, madam? Tell us the story. <laughs> oh, 
and there was no one there. <laughs> Paul, what, what did you see? I'm, I'm not. I make you nervous. You've seen the undead, <laughs> and I make you nervous. Doesn't really show me in a good light, does it? Come on. Where were you when you saw the apparition? You were in a friend's house, right? Her stepfather was what? Sorry. I think I may have cracked this case already. <laughs> There's a stepfather involved. <laughs> Was there ectoplasm? <laughs> Go on, what happened? Were you upstairs? Were you...? You were in his son's bedroom. <laughs> of course you were, love. <laughs> Go on. He had died. You should have mentioned that sooner. <laughs> and then you started seeing weird shit. <laughs> I'm loving this. There's a special name for people that have seen ghosts. Schizophrenic. <laughs> All the best with your future. <laughs> Quite an in-depth story. I'll leave it at that stepfather did something terrible. <laughs> and you've recoded that memory. <laughs> have we got any teachers in this evening? Is you show any teachers? Yeah. Oh, loads of teachers in. You work bloody hard, don't you, teachers? Half the year, five hours a day. <laughs> I'm not knocking it, I could never do what you people do for a living. Not because it's difficult, I wouldn't pass a CRB check. <laughs> the most annoying thing my sister does is that show Chatty Man. <laughs> That's the most annoying heckle that I get at gigs. I like it when people join in, I like a bit of a heckle and a bit of fun. But the most annoying one I get is when I've set up a joke, just about to do the punchline, and someone goes, it's always, invariably it's the same thing, it's always, where's Alan? Where's Alan? It's not my, like, bet noir, it's just a bit annoying. Where's Alan? Where's Alan? <laughs> Who's in your house fucking your dad? <laughs> I think we all knew, including him, I think we all knew that was a trap. I could feel you as one going, hold, hold, <laughs> hold. And then one brave soul over there said, no. I'm taking one for the team. <laughs> or rather, your dad is. <laughs> I saw a woman wearing a top. It said, super dry, on the front. <laughs> I said, have you thought about lubricants or HRT? <laughs> Maybe a little bit of Aussie charm? Are you familiar with the term Aussie charm? Just means. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Australian charm, you're welcome. <laughs> Very pleasing look from the ladies of London as if to say, well, I didn't know that had a name, but yes, that does happen. <laughs> of course, not all fat people are jolly, some of them are women. <laughs> you shouldn't be mean, fat girls have got feelings, mainly they're hungry. It's only a joke, isn't it? It's only a bit of fun. I told it the other night and a girl got up and walked out. Well, waddled out. <laughs> I presume offended, possibly just peckish. <laughs> Let's hear it from all the heterosexual men in the room. Give us a shout, all the heterosexual men. <laughs> I'm guessing from that expression... <laughs> I can't remember which one heterosexual is. <laughs> I'm not taking a chance. Maybe this is how they recruit them. I thought my girlfriend was a slag when she told me I was her 30-second lover, and then I realised she was talking about time. <laughs> there is a minimum comprehension level you may be asked to leave. <laughs> of course, not all gay people are happy, camp and fun. Some of them are lesbians. <laughs> if you're a lesbian and you didn't find that funny, you're surprising no one. Are there any lesbians in? <laughs> no, my gay da is pretty much honed in on this, this pair down there. Hello, how are you two? You all right? Yeah. Are, are you, I presume you're a couple? Married, yes. You're married? Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Fabulous. How long have you been married? Since October. Since October? My God, it's new and fresh. <laughs> have you even finished consummating the relationship? No. You don't know when you're finished, do you? That's one of the problems <laughs> with your lifestyle choice. 
We'll just put that on hold. We'll be back in a minute. <laughs> well, so you're married, you're committed to each other. Well, it's maybe a crazy question to ask you because you're in this long-term relationship and you love each other, but what would it take to get you back on solids? She's a definite no and you're a maybe. OK, good. <laughs> what, sorry? You used to teach at my, my school, at Burnham Grammar. Did you? Not when I was there, surely. No, unless you moisturise a lot. Are you, where are you from? <laughs> you're from? You're from Belfast. Right. Ginger and community. <laughs> 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 I was just saying what you said to me back. I... <laughs> oh, how come you're teaching over here, then? Are you in the witness relocation scheme? What the fuck happened? <laughs> Fucking grass. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you teach? What, what subject? What, sorry? English. English? You can barely fucking pronounce. <laughs> I don't really understand the vajazzle. I mean, I know what a vajazzle is. I know, I know what it is. They whip away all the hair from your foo-foo and then they diamante it. I say they, I imagine you get some Pritzik and glitter and have a crack yourself. <laughs> have a sparkly crack yourself, you're welcome. Um, I just don't know who that's for. I've never met a man who said to me, oh, I love vaginas. But I wish they were a bit more zhuzhy. A few more sparkles wouldn't go amiss. I want a glamopus, a showbiz entrance. <laughs> Has anyone had a, a vajazzle? She had. What did you? What did you? What motif did you go for, madam? You you had a heart yeah. because you were embarrassed to ask for. Like something spectacular. You were embarrassed to ask for something spectacular. <laughs> so you were fine with someone putting glitter on your fanny, but you went. <laughs> I don't want to ask for anything embarrassing. <laughs> How adorable. And was it for a special occasion or was it just... No, I just thought, why not? You thought, why not? <laughs> well, plenty of fucking reasons. Basic hygiene. <laughs> Your boyfriend could chip a tooth. <laughs> <laughs> and it was definitely a proper vajazzle, not a Liverpool vajazzle, which is just a euphemism for herpes. Has anyone else come across a vajazzle? He has. He has. <laughs> <laughs> Not hers, I hope. Um, go on, what, what, what did they have? Uh, can't remember. It was my stag do. In my you can't remember? It was your, it was your stag do. <laughs> oh. You can't remember anything. Sounds like a Liverpool vajazzle to me. <laughs> no, love. I don't know what happened. It's just really itchy. Fucking hell. <laughs> Ladies consume pornography in a very different way to men. The genders are very different in our consumption of pornography. Here's a fact, gentlemen, that will blow your minds about women's consumption of pornography. Women watch porn films to the end. <laughs> you know why? To see if they get married. <laughs> worst gifts. <laughs> what, what's the worst gift? What, sorry? You got a bread maker. I, uh, your husband bought you a bread maker. What a fucking arsehole. <laughs> uh, no, I just hate the whole concept. Because bread makers, I mean, I bet I spent like 200 quid on a bread maker. That's convenient, isn't it? Because you don't live near shops and bread isn't fucking cheap. <laughs> oh, I'll just make my own. That's fine. Because the ingredients cost more than a loaf of bread, but don't worry about it. <laughs> so what did you get him? Instead of an engagement ring, you. <laughs> You've got a bread maker instead of an engagement ring. <laughs> you broke up with him, right? You've just divorced him. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Why did you go through with marrying him? I mean, that must have been fucking awkward in the office. Oh. <sighs> Look at this. Oh, it's a nice one. Sparkly. <laughs> You poor thing. Any other bad gifts? You got what? Poor what, sir? A dog pooper scooper. 
Do you have a dog? At the time, yes. At the time, yes. <laughs> the fuck have you done with your dog, dude? <laughs> what happened to your dog? <laughs> you don't have him anymore. Oh, <gasps> <gasps> Toby's mum ate him. <laughs> the fat bitch. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Um, <laughs> what is the worst gift you've ever got? Birthday, anniversary, Christmas, Valentine's. What is the worst piece of shit you ever got? <laughs> <clears throat> We've had a heckle. Go on, what, what was that? Say a little bit louder. Tickets to this show. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. Uh, sir, what, what's your name? What? What? Sorry. Toby, Toby, do you mind me sharing with the group? Thank you very much indeed, Toby. That makes it much easier. Because there's a heckle. It's quite a good heckle, quite a funny heckle. But we have to do a heckle put down now. God. <laughs> I would love if I could just let it go, but I can't. <laughs> there are rules. <laughs> but you don't mind me sharing with the group, so it makes it much easier. We can go old school. Stop what, sorry? Stop stalling. Stop stalling. <laughs> don't panic, sir. I've got this, I'll have to put you on asshole waiting. <laughs> Toby's mum <laughs> is so fat. <laughs> She's a fucking disgrace, Toby. Your mum is such a chunky monkey wobble slob. <laughs> Fatty boom batty blubber naught. She's so fucking fat, when she fell down the stairs, I thought EastEnders had finished. <laughs> boom, 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 ba -ba -ba boom. <laughs> True story. <laughs> Ahem. <laughs> you, sir. <laughs> what did you say? What was it? Stop stalling? Yeah? What, what's your name? Gary. Are you trying to say Gary? <laughs> Watch me. Gary. <laughs> yeah. 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 The fuck is that? <laughs> well, Gary, if you want my comeback, you'll have to scrape it off your mum's teeth. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jimmy Carr. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Now, there's a scientific theory that states you laugh 30 times more when you're in a room with other people than when you're watching something on a screen. So why not come and see me live? It's jimmycar.com for tickets and I'm pretty much everywhere. See you then.